guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a Get Ready With Me video and I first wanted to mention if you haven't seen my YouTube page, my sister made me a banner which I absolutely love so let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's so cute. And the other thing I wanted to quickly say was about my no buy. It is officially over. Um, I only did it for the first three weeks of June and it was a struggle as you guys know. I bought makeup and um, I did well for about two weeks of it, but I just couldn't do it, and I'm so glad that it's over. So, um, I'm not saying I'm going to buy everything I see, but I'm going to give myself some leeway since it is my birthday month. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is apply foundation. This is the CoverGirl Atlas Stay Luminous, and I have the color 842, which I believe is medium beige. And I'm not sure if you could see, but there is shimmer in you could see shimmer in there but I don't well you'll see I don't think it applies it there is a glow but it's not you're not shiny or anything like that in my opinion uh, so I'm gonna put a pump on this brush and I'm gonna do this side of the face first I do have a primer rod I'm using my monostat it's not particularly my favorite but it's okay I want to do the first half of my face so you could see the coverage. Okay, so you can see it does, even out my skin tone, does a pretty good job of coverage, but I still have, you can see a little bit of redness, and it doesn't completely take away my blemishes. So that's the coverage you're getting. And I'm going to finish the other side and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So I applied this all over my face and unlike the original one, this is not, I don't feel like it's drying whatsoever. It is luminous so it shouldn't be that way and I feel like I do have a glow um, but nothing too shimmery and I do like it first impressions wise but I'm, I don't know about the coverage. I definitely like the original one for its coverage better. And now for concealer, I don't exactly have a concealer, but I do have the Maybelline Eraser Instant Age Rewind. Oh no, it's not an eraser. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, it's a long day. I have to wake up. I woke up at six something to get my car inspected, which I hate going to the mechanic because I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. And uh, this one seemed legit though. My my family goes to this guy and he was just telling me things that I knew was already wrong so that made me feel good it was just really early and so this is the instant age rewind eraser dark circles and this one is the brightener I believe and it looks a little bit pink and I wasn't sure how that was gonna look oh and if my if my product looks different it's because I took the that spongy top off I just don't like that and I just I found that it easily comes off so just to show you the coverage of one side and I feel like a little goes a long way so don't squeeze out a lot and it does do a pretty good job of brightening so this side brightener this side I have no already brightener. had a primer to my eyes and I used a NYX HD primer and I really like this I had gotten a small sample of it and the reason I'm using this instead of my Urban Decay is my eyes have become so oily all of a sudden really in the last couple of months that I wanted to I had this as a backup so I wanted to start using this I maybe my eyes were getting too used to the Urban Decay I don't know but I tried this today and it really kept oil away so I really like that but I'm gonna press that into my eyes and while that sets I will be applying a blush and no actually powder I and I really the the foundation I do like it but I don't feel like it's enough coverage so I um, I don't have a con new concealer to try, which I could, I could pull out another one, but I'm just going to apply powder. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder powder, and I have the color Classic Ivory. That's probably one of the lightest ones I've ever gotten, but um, I felt like the other ones looked a little bit different. I don't know. Uh, I'm using just a big fluffy brush and patting under my eye and my forehead and just all over. And this kind of matte the sort of mattifying but 
but I still feel like I have glow peeking through. And I also like to put this on my eyes and I go a little bit heavier because my eyes are super duper oily. And for four, I was, I'm always forever saying fur in my videos and I know that could get quite irritating. Uh, for bronzer, I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee, and I really like this product. Oh, I should have saved for under my eyes. Oh, I could still use it. I'm using the Sonia Keshek Blush Brush, and I'm going to get more of these. I really, really like these. These are fantastic. This is fantastic. I just had the one. So I'm just going to take that powder and just put it underneath. And then for contour, I'm using the same brush. Just so you can see on this side. Do you see how it's not it's not orange or too brown or anything? It's it it, it looks like a real shadow. And I'm just gonna do it all over my face, and I'll do that. Oh, and I found back. this thing. Uh, I don't know in a box somewhere. You know, though, to keep uh, glassware secure. And I just use this, and it does really well at taking a lot of the powder off. And so for blush, I am using this is the Maybelline Master Highlight in Mauve. And so I'm just gonna try to stick to the purple color, purple berry colors. I feel like this could make your face look a little metallic. So let's see. So I applied okay. this blush really on both my cheeks and I really do have to say that I like this color and I did get another one uh, which you'll see in a future haul but this is the one in And for rose. highlight I am going to go into this palette but I'm going to again try to avoid the pink and go for the metallic tones in here. It's going to be a little tough I think. Let's see. And I'm just going to go lightly on top. I mean I'm not going to need much because the foundation is a bit glowy but just a little bit and for lips I'm gonna use a really bold color I was surprised by how bold it was but it's beautiful this is the Revlon color burst matte bomb in shameless and I want to put this on first because I feel like it's gonna dictate the direction of where my eye makeup is gonna go For brows, I am using the Almay Brow Defining Pencil. It looks like this, and it's in the color brown, and it does come with a spoolie. Uh, I really like this. I've used this a couple of times, and it's so easy to use, and I think this is becoming my favorite. The e.l.f. was in first place, but now I think I like this a lot more. Pencil is just a little bit easier. And this one, it's a small tip, and I just, I'm loving it. And I just really, I just, you know, I don't need to do a lot of structuring. I just need to, I feel like, just define it a little. And that's even more for video. So that's basically it. And then I'm going to comb it out. So for my eye look, I want to keep it super simple just because my lips, I want them to be the main focal point. I'm using the Nylon and Mimi Box Collab Palette. And... This is, I really like this. I wish that there was kind of a matte color in here, but I am going to, I think I'm going to use, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to use something from the top row. So let's just play around and I'll use this one right there. Kind of, I guess, purple, purple, <laughs> maybe too much purple, but I just want to 
I'm gonna just put it on the lid and for the inner corner I also applied this color which is supposed to be a highlight but I that's a little too much for me so that was the inner corner and I'm gonna actually put that on the cupid's bow just a little bit and this palette is just really nice because all the colors on here aren't they're good shadows, but they're not overly pigmented where you're going to have trouble using them. You may have to be careful. I just, it gives me enough color that I like it, but it's not hard to work with. And I'm glad that I got this. It's actually really nice. And for, for mascara, this is a product. Uh, I forgot to haul it in my last makeup haul, which was a bunch of freebies that I got for my mom and my sister. There was a mascara in there and... I should have just thrown it away, but I opened it and it was actually really good condition because it must have just been opened once and then never opened again. So it was still like wet and it doesn't smell. I mean, look at this. It's, and I used it and I absolutely loved it. So I am going to use this mascara and I like to do that because um, I don't want, like, okay, so let's just say I put my liner and then I go in to curl my lashes to do mascara. It takes off the liner off my eyes and it doesn't matter what kind it is, it always does it. So that's why I do it that way. And I've been really loving recently to put a uh, mascara on my lower lash line. I don't know. I just feel I feel like it widens my eyes, and I make sure not to put too much. Although I do like the spidery kind of look. I don't know. I know not everyone likes that, but sometimes I enjoy it. And while I wait for the mascara to dry, I want to tell you what's on my nails. This is Essie's Tarte Deco, and I am in love with this color. It is so beautiful and two coats you need at least two coats uh but i just i'm in love with this color i think it's so sweet and loving it and i did use the opi top coat and i feel like i do like this but i still have to i'm going to use it with more nail polish for I liner have. i am using a new product and it is from another mimi box this is the kill black waterproof brush liner by cleo and it looks like this and this is awesome the the tip is amazing. You can get really precise, and so I'm gonna line my eye. So impressed with this Cleo eyeliner. The formula is nice and the tip is so fantastic. I am in love with this right now. And then I think that is it. I was going to try false lashes, but it's kind of late and I don't really want to put them on just to take them off. But maybe I'll do it in another video. I want to try these individual lashes with this uh, clear adhesive from Ardell. And last but not least, I'm finish up my look with a setting spray. That's the L'Oreal one. I absolutely love setting sprays and man, that's waterproof. Look at that. I thought that would be sure to break down, but it hasn't yet. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I really ended up liking this look. I wasn't sure where I was going, but I think because I use kind of like that berry purple family, I just like the way everything tied in. And because the lips were so bold, I really want to keep the eye look simple. And I like it. I, I hope you guys did too. Let me know what products that you've hauled recently or gotten recently yourself that you would recommend to me to check out and that's all she wrote folks i'll talk to you guys soon bye